Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're playing Talon versus Vex. So in this matchup, obviously Vex is a counter to Talon. The reason being is he has built-in CC, where if you jump in, she can just press W and she fears you, and that way you can, you know, can't really proc your passive as easily as other champions. Another thing is, obviously, she outranges us by a lot. So in the early game, what we want to do is just basically stay, keep our like, distance away from Vex, and also just farm with our W. The W did just get buffed, which we're going to be testing this game as well. I have played two games before this. So we're going to see you know, if I can feel anything in this game as well. Mm -hmm. Can't really do anything until level 2. Okay. We got our W off, which took a lot of damage, and we did get hit by her abilities. But she took more than us, so that's really good. Uh, one more thing. Try not... I don't know why Diana just took my XP, but anyways, I'm going to auto W that. Uh, the thing I was going to say was try and not use your range Q uh, to get minions as her passive. Every time you use a dash, the auto attack you for extra damage. So I can show you right now. If I was to use Q like that, yeah, you can see a passive mark on me, which she can just literally walk up and go for an auto attack, which is not really good, right? So right now, seems doing good. I, I want to Q in for these, but then she's going to get an auto attack off. You have to decide whether it's worth or not. The reason I did go Conqueror is because of the rest of the team. I usually like going runes for my lane. But this matchup, just because it's like going to be very hard to solo kill Vex. I could go for a Q and if she lets me. I can go for Flash Auto. The flash really late. And actually dies, which is really good. Because we get the... Oh, Wave's actually pretty good, actually. Um, and even though it doesn't look really good, uh, minions here are closer to her turret, so eventually it will slow push. But she's te teleporting, so she's going to push, push it herself anyways. But yeah, what I was saying earlier was... To hide. Yeah, I usually like to go with my rune for my lane, but because I can't really do much against the Vex, I just went the rune. That's going to help me later on in the game. Nice. It's really good that... I'll be able to... This kind of still has a hook, by the way, so this is a free kill right here. And I could have waited with my ult attack. Just to get the kill, but fine. That Dino gets the kill. So, yeah, as you can see, my Q is much faster. And that's because of the boss uh, attack speed. And I actually have Alacrity too, right? So it's going to uh, work together. So if I... Very quick. So I can feel it. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to, like... Talon's winner is not going to go up by 3-4% just because of this. I would say maybe it's like there's going to be some cases where, you know, getting your Q auto off, like that 0 0.1 second quicker is going to make the difference. But it's so rare that I doubt it's going to make any difference in terms of win rate. I would say it's more of a quality of life change, right, for Talon? Wait, auto attack this, attack this, attack this. Vex is actually moving, so Alice is bot lane too. And me running bot lane here, by the time I get there, it's already too late if they do fight. So the best thing to do in this situation is just to push out your wave. Here we see Vex. And the reason is, is uh, you deny the wave, right? And they won't you know, and it, even if I was to move, it would have been too late. Vex is forced to go around. Forced to fight bot lane. Because he's, he's just going to miss the whole wave anyway. So she uses ult. I'm just going to sit here. For antivirus pop-up. Anyways. I'm gonna just sit here, and she probably thinks I revealed. I'm gonna kite up so I don't get feared away. Okay. So Shen is teleporting, and I can actually uh, just kill this. Stab Conqueror. And uh, yeah, I'm literally 1v3 hitting here, basically. Let's nice. watch this. Then goes here. I can kill this. Oh, it's blocked. And, uh, getting nice. Literally 1v3. Uh, top lane is going to be able to just get a lot from that. That was really good. Uh, yeah, so this is exactly where you go to Conqueror. I actually think it's one of the best runes you can go to 1v9. The thing with Electric, right, is like, it, of course, if you get Electric and you get like a few kills here and there because of the Electric damage, it's going to help you snowball. That's true. But the thing is, uh, once you just one shot, Talon is just very useless. Like, let's be honest, right? But with Conqueror, you can just do what I did there. Uh, where I can just, you know, 
W auto Q auto auto. A lot of people played Conquer incorrectly, and they think they look at here and it's like, oh, bro, it, it only did 132 healing. It's like that's not why you go Conquer. It's 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 the damage AD you get from stacking up the Conquer, uh, and you're able to just have prolonged fights. I'm just gonna be like with my alacrity with the attack speed and just Q auto, auto Q autos, etc. I'm gonna be able to just get so many so much damage off. That's gonna do more damage than just my abilities. Uh, I'm actually gonna find Silas. I just uh, gave up some minions just so I can get prior here. I'm just gonna force a fight. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I can even just go in. Like... Yeah, there you go. Nice. Got to get my W. I don't want to queue here. But yeah, there you go. I could just do stuff like that. You see how I just play aggressive? Conquer, I just go for Q autos, autos. If you have electrocute, those auto attacks are just going to do no damage, right? Seems right. Cannon. Oh, okay. I could actually dive her. Uh, when she doesn't have her, like, a red bar, I can just go for a dive. Right now, it's kind of risky because it's almost up. I could just go for a quick combo. Give my W here. Very nice. I got my mana back just because I have. Frozen of Mind. So, yeah, I don't know if you saw my AD. I think it was at 193. <clears throat> so, it literally went up by like 20. Uh, almost. And that's literally like two long swords. And what we can do next is literally buy Edge of Night. And that way, uh, you know. Can't get feared and killed or taunted or whatever CC chained. So that's gonna help us just go in and out, and we already have enough damage. So the thing with Edge of Night is that it doesn't give you much damage compared to other items. I'm just gonna actually just jump over and fight the Pilus, and he probably uses his abilities uh, on the Raptors. So I was able to just jump in and not be afraid. I'm taking damage back. So I'm just going to push out this wave and then go for a bot lane roam. I'll let them know that I'm coming. Cool. I could go for mid platings, but Vex is there and we'll just get messy. This is watered. Try to E into this bush here. And yeah. He had to just uh, jump into me and heal up because he was going to dive away. But I'll go back to mid. Thank China. This is really good. That's Diana have ult. It was a kind of slow combo by Dino, so he was able to flash. So we're just going to go for a recoil here. I can actually buy Treacheries, which I'm actually going to do. But I have Conquer, which means that I want to stay in fights and just get my ult attacks off a lot. And this is going to help me, you know, take less damage from the magic resist. And also the tenacity is going to help me, you know, CC chain. Uh, I don't want to use my ult. Yeah, that's nice. Two buffs is really nice. I'm gonna see if I can just fight him there. Just t test my damage out. Yep, fine. Nice. He flashed away. I was thinking Trundle would just go for the shed instead. Go for the turret, but that's completely fine. We still killed him. We had to waste flash. Nice, you guys are hurt, so I can just stay. I didn't get an assist. Wait. Oh, okay. I might have just messed up a little bit. Undo. I can use this to actually jump over. And I wasn't able to quite get my ult back off. I think if I did the combo a bit faster, I could have. But, uh, he still wouldn't have died. Nice to use her ult. That's good. Got her ult out of the way. I might be getting chased here, so I'm just gonna kite away a little bit. That Q auto attack is really nice. Um, I can actually just run the round, see if I can throw it. Flank if I need to. Maybe put Crank and hook, unless you get ready. Yeah, so, in this situation, I'm just gonna run top lane. I don't wanna waste time, because I can't really do anything without my ult. My ult's soon up, so. If I can look to do something, I 
Nice, we're gonna run out here. We got free kill. We have no mana here, so it's best if we just recall and spend our gold. Yeah, let's just do Baron. Uh, in games like this, it's best to just do objectives. Yeah, it's best to just do objectives and close out the game before you can, like, you know, end up throwing more and risking the fact that the enemy can come back. Uh, obviously, this game was quite ahead, but you never know. It's solo queue, so we might just get CC chained and losing the game. So I'm actually gonna get this vision. I'm just gonna. Okay, they actually have first. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments, join the Discord and watch it. Peace.